that's kind of like a thing I'll be doing too soon again because I did that last year on my Instagram page is uh, doing another giveaway and doing some more fundraisers for uh, Walk of Hope um, and it's about raising awareness for infertility and there's a lot of people I mean the, the number they give is one in eight people who deal with infertility struggles whether it's you know, for a guy with a sperm count or a woman who's having multiple miscarriages or just it's a couple thing uh, it's really prevalent but it's a very it's a very there's a lot of st- stigma around it like well, not think, wanting to talk about people don't, that's it what it's shameful people, people think it. it's shameful well, people feel ashamed of it when they shouldn't yeah. it's, a, it's a tough thing that people go through I, and, and I've it's taken a while but I've finally gotten to the point now where like, you know, I remember I kind of made a co-worker feel bad about it I'm taking some vitamins and stuff and he's he looks at me oh so you're taking your birth control I was like no I'm infertile that's my natural birth control he's like shit dude are you really I'm like yeah no I'm infertile I can't have a kid I have a surrogate right now like you know all the, all the problems you have with it but I, I've kind of gotten to the point like well if you can't joke about it like what else are you going to do just cry and be miserable all the time and we've done enough of that and we'll, we still will cry and be miserable when those things happen but yeah. you got to you got to be able to confront it and talk about it. And there's a lot of people who go through that stuff. And it's got to not, be, not feel afraid to want to talk about it. And there's a lot of yeah. resources out there. The Walk of Hope raises awareness for that. What uh, is for the Walk legis- of Hope? So Walk of Hope is, an, an organi- uh, is a charity fundraiser with Resolve.org. And Resolve is, an, uh, is a nonprofit charity that is all about uh, raising awareness about infertility issues and also campaigning for legislation to improve, you know, the, almost every single state doesn't have good health care provided for infertility. If you're infertile and you have to pay for infertility treatments, it's all out of pocket. You've got to pay thousands of dollars. If you have to pay for a surrogate, you're talking 80 grand at least, if not up to 100 grand plus. You've got a surrogate. What? And, That's insane. Yeah, and, and insurance doesn't cover it. Uh, so Resolve is all about also campaigning for legislation that is pro, pro uh, you know, infertility treatment, IVF, IUI, uh, surrogacy, and uh, making sure that, that that legislation could get pushed through, as well as providing support and counseling for people uh, who are dealing with that. I mean, it can cause depression, it can, it can it break has. apart marriages. It has. I'm lucky that in our marriage, it's kind of ironic, in our marriage, me and my wife, like us going through it, this brought us closer together. So... In a weird way, it's kind of a blessing too. It's like it's made us. We've gone through more shit in the last five years than most people go through in twenty years of marriage, and it's like catalyzed. We're like we're warriors on a battlefield, like brought together because of it. But uh, yeah, so that that's coming up in April. The Walk of Hope, uh, and that's through Resolve.org. There's other charity organizations. Uh, See, got me tearing up right now. It's talking about the emotions. <laughs> but but uh, Baby Quest Grant. Uh, uh, is also another website that that's more more specifically to raising money to give people just like here's money kind of like a GoFundMe to like hey we, we give these out a couple of times a year to people like to help you fund your your quest to have a kid you know um, what I really like about them it doesn't and it's and it doesn't judge based on what your relation what your if you're homosexual or heterosexual it's like we want to have a kid we're going to try and help you have a kid uh, which I really like if you are in the Dallas area and you are also like I trying uh, to struggle with infertility treatment, go to Dallas IBS. Dr. Ku and their team I think, absolutely I think my fucking co-worker, amazing. I, think, I don't know if my co goes there. I know she goes to Dallas. Her and her wife are trying to have a kid. Yeah. I would absolutely recommend their offices. They have been stellar uh, in this whole process with us. Uh, Dr. Marianick, too. Marianick downtown Dallas uh, also very good but doesn't take insurance so if you're watching this and you're also super rich you can go through him but we didn't he got you yeah, we didn't have a pretty penny to spend so we had to get away from Dr. Marinette and we went to Dr. Koo uh, but Dr. Koo uh, equally good and star. Equally oh yeah good. and uh, uh, he's a sponsor too with the Walk of Hope um, so raising awareness for it and helping to provide Basically, I don't know how you call it, like scholarships and grants to people, reimbursements. Uh, oh, yeah. We're going to. They have the resources there for it. So, 
most people usually think with infertility treatment, they just, oh, we can't have a kid, it's going to cost too much money, but there are options and resources for you. Resolve.org. Resolve.org. We will post the link in the description uh, for people who are interested. I love how it divulged into this. Yeah, no, it's important to say information. Well, let's talk about ignorant questions, right? So, ignorant question for me. I thought even with a low sperm count, a guy could still get a girl pregnant, like with in, uh, in like an injection, like they collect your sperm. Yeah, count. IUI. Yeah, they can. Um, as long as you're not shooting blanks. And we were, we were in that situation, but then we discovered that there was also an issue with my wife too, uh, with her being able to retain an embryo and being able to bring it to gestation. Uh, so we've had some miscarriages before. Sorry. Don't be. You didn't have anything to do with it. It's like. I get I'm not sorry. Yeah, that, yeah. I didn't, I'm not yeah. saying sorry because I did anything. I'm saying sorry that you guys went through it. It's a journey you guys already went through. No change in it, I but I'm that. still sympathetic for it. I'm not gonna say I'm not, I don't care. Uh, I've met many, I've met many of my homegirls, uh, friends of the show. I have uh, family members who've miscarried. Miscarriage. It's a tough situation, you know, for a marriage. A miscarriage one or two times. Uh, yeah. So I don't know how many times you did it, but it's, uh, regardless, it's one or two. And I will. I will say tough. this. Uh, you know, any of you that are on Instagram following either one of us, uh, you don't need to necessarily go public with it. But if you need somebody to talk to, I am totally open to talking to you all about it. Uh, if you just need someone to yell at, y- uh, vent your frustrations to, I get it. Um, and I am totally there for you in solidarity. So uh, if you're going through that struggle like we have and currently are, Give me a shout out. Send me a DM. Anything. I will be more than happy to talk with y'all about it. Your man on Instagram, Twitter. Yes, the same on Twitter. Uh, check them out. 